The iconic rock musician David Bowie died on Sunday night on the 10th of January 2016. He was only 69 years old. The news has reached the world through a statement on the artist's official Facebook page. Duncan Jones, the renowned director and David's son, has confirmed the death via a Twitter post. David Bowie, born and raised in London, was one of the world's all-time greatest music icons. Known for his unique expression where the visuals were at the forefront, both in terms of stage setting and fashion style. Bowie broke through in the late 60s with the song Space Oddity. He released a total of 25 full-length albums, wrote over 500 songs and sold more than 140 million albums. The latest one just released two days before his death. We visited David Bowie's famous apartment at Hauptstrasse 155, where there was a memorial held for his death, among which many fans gathered to pay their respects to the man himself, whilst reminiscing about his music and how his persona impacted society. Two weeks before we went to the Neues Ufer, and they played David Bowie music all the time, and with her I went, and I said, oh, that's great, David Bowie, and he lived here in the neighborhood, and blah, 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 so we were reliving David Bowie, and then two weeks later he was dead, so we had this re reliving all, already. And then this moment he wasn't there anymore, it's a bit, yeah, uh, a past station, you can say, because he was a big part of my youth. And yeah, it's sad, but people go. I never realized, but when I heard he was dead, you think about his meaning, I think it's huge. By, in a way of um, show people how free you can be and how good. Do you feel his uh, spirit will live on forever? I hope so, but I don't think so. <laughs> I am standing here in front of Hans Atom Studios. This is where David Bowie recorded three of his most critically acclaimed albums, Low, Lodger and Heroes. These albums defined the sound of what David Bowie will sound like in the coming years and David Bowie as we know him today. Bowie shared the stage with Genesis, Eurythmics, Nina Hagen and the New Model Army for the Concert for Berlin Festival. The stage was installed in front of the west side of the wall with loudspeakers facing towards the east in a purposeful attempt at sharing the sound with both sides. Hundreds at the east of the wall do arrive with shouts of tear down the wall and the song Heroes became an anthem. The German government, in remembrance of this episode, thanked David Bowie for his aid in the fall of the wall.